With our powers combined, I am Captain Planes. No. Um, wait. Sorry, wait. Donald, Goofy, share your energy with me. Yeah. Yeah. It's Shazam! Okay, let's go. Alright, thank you all for coming in. Brand new video. I. Yeah, I'm supposed to be going to the station, so I'm going to the station, but just like in the previous episode of Kingdom Hearts, first, Sora was asleep and now he's awake. That's pretty much what happened. He was asleep, Roxas was awake, he wanted to find his purpose, he found his purpose. And now Sora's awake. His purpose was to wake up Sora. So we're just going to leave it at that. Sora was like, are you? <laughs> okay. So, as I remember, if I remember correctly, I believe that, ow, I believe that this is the part where you fight an infinite amount of enemies, but it's like time based, ooh, hello, it's like time based, so what happens is, after I'm not sure how, many, how much time it is, but it's like after different. Maybe it's how many enemies you defeat. But honestly, truth, I'm not sure. Ow, ow, ow. Honestly, truth, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to figure out. Like, okay, you give me nine points. Who gives me the most experience? That's nine. Okay, that's nine. Okay, you all again. Okay. It may be time based. I'm not sure. Is it a time based or is it an enemy count of how many enemies you got to defeat? Oh, y'all gave me 14. Hello. I wanted to defeat you all. Ow. I wanted to defeat you all. Hey, why can't I use a reversal? Wait a minute. Why can't I use reversal? What? Wait. That's just not right. I want to use reversal. And you all give me nine. Nine. Ow. Nine experience. I want more than nine experience. I want 14 again. Oh, wait, one more. One more. One more. Yes. Yes. I'm level seven. Let's go. Let's wait. Where go? Here we go. Here we go. Boom. See, I knew it. Okay, so it's on the background that Donald was the last person to kill somebody. So it's probably an enemy count. Oh, y'all tired? Seriously? Somebody get up. Somebody. <laughs> I need you on my team. Your Majesty? Shh. You gotta board the train and leave town. The train knows the way. Here. <laughs> the king? Was that really him? It could have been. Yep, I know it was. That was Donald's whole time. The king was locked in the realm of darkness, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. But we just saw him. Yep. And if the king is here, that means Riku's here. He's gotta be. Well, I'm gonna go look for Riku. Then he and I can go back to the islands together. Kairi's there waiting for us. What are you two gonna do? Uh, Worse, Sora, do you have to ask? I know, right? Y'all just fought a mysterious enemy. You talking about going back to the islands? Your face. <laughs> what 
do you say, guys? Let's stick together for one more journey. To where again? We have to board the train. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Okay, they gave me 5,000 money. Five and a crystal and Yep, and a report. Wait up. Huh? Hey, Sora? What? Nothing, but we came to see you off. It just seemed like something we ought to do. Oh. Really? Thanks. You should hurry and get your tickets. Right. Tickets, please. I can't help feeling like we won't see this town again. Why not? You're thinking too much. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, him. So, um... That's weird. I feel like I should see you off for some reason. I got to say bye to someone. I've been waiting for a long time to see. Yeah, I knew. I'll ask the others if you're ready to leave. It's probably Donald. Yes. That's why. Okay. Let's go. Bye. Hey, Sora? You sure we haven't met before? Positive. Why do you ask? I don't know. <laughs> like huh? brother crying. You okay? It, yeah. Don't know where it came from. <laughs> Pull it together. Right. See ya. I'm wondering who was the driver <laughs> like, man, he cried like, I don't know why that dude cried I'm trying to figure that out myself Oh, so are you that depressed? You know? I'm sad. visit Hainer and those guys again.
Oh look, it's Lethal Lava Land. Oh my bad, wrong universe. That's a big tower. <laughs> there goes our ride. Mm-hmm. So, um... One thing I've always questioned was, um... Like, every time you come here, like, in 358 days... Oh my goodness, I really say 358 days. Uh, every time you come here, like, in Birth by Sleep, I believe in... No, not in 3D. Okay, so never mind. Maybe I'm just thinking about just Birth by Sleep. But, it's like, why does every single time you come here, it, it just calls it a, either a mysterious tower or a big tower or whatever? So weird. And I was like, why? Like, why not just call it... But that's just me. What's going on? <laughs> I sent some of my lackeys inside to see if the master of this here tower's as big and tough as they say. Word is he's a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him the perfect bodyguard for me. See, it don't matter how tough he is. Once he's a heartless, he'll do as I say. Uh-huh, Wes. That's right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. Why, with all those heartless at her side, my dear friend Maleficent is gonna conquer everything. And since I got me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of heartless, special for her. Oh, why am I talking to you pipsqueaks anyway? Go on, Scram. I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Oh, says who? Huh? Oh, it's you! Pete? What are you two Nimrods doing here? What are you doing here? You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. <laughs> you want to know how, eh? Well, Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now your world, no, 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 all the worlds, are going to belong to yours truly. Because uh, Maleficent's going to help me conquer them. Maleficent, huh? <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that... She's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? You! So you're the ones that did it! Well, we might have had something to do with it. <laughs> Heartless Squad, round up! <laughs> Mad or not? <laughs> <laughs> we might have <laughs> You mad or no? Easy peasy lemon squeezy You're the most basic of the basic You're not even child play You're just infant play That's even right Say. Look at that, look how fast that was. See, nothing but easies. Easy peasies. Lemon squeezies. You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So, mighty Pete, who lives in this tower anyway? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Master Yenson lives here? <laughs> he said, Dip. Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Wow, sounds powerful. <laughs> He's like, Wait! 
ignored. <laughs> oh man, that's how I know that's how you know you're weak. You get ignored like that. That's funny. Oh man. Man, oh man, that's how you know you're weak. You just get ignored so easily. That's kind of funny. Yeah, back in the day when the saves on the on the older consoles took like five years just to save, and took about five years just to get out of it. All right, so let's travel up Master Yen Sid's Tower. I just thought about something like, like did Pete honestly think that you know his basic junkies was gonna take down somebody who he knows reputation is like, like far above anything that he can even think of. I mean, just think about it. Like, like does anybody ever think this stuff through? Like, I understand the bad guys are, you know, kind of confused and illiterate and weird and, you know, just all the things in the book. But it's just like, does anybody have the common sense to, you know, to really just sit down and think, you know, if I'm going to try to take on some high ranking person, like, am I really going to just let go? Like what? I don't know how many he has, but like let go like the most basic forms of the heartless. I mean, or not even the heartless, but just of your army and period. <laughs> like he said, he was trying to build up an army, but why would you let go of the most basic people? Like you would want to send at least your top guys or your second strongest people, you know, to take out somebody of, of a high ranking. I mean, like for instance, like. In the Naruto universe, like, would you send a Genin to go try and take down a Hokage? Or necessarily a Hokage, but like, would you send a Genin to go take down a Kage? I mean, yeah, technically Naruto is a Genin because he, you know, but he had a tail beast. Without that tail beast, he'd be a nobody. So, I mean, just think on an average level of a Genin versus somebody in the Kage level. Somebody who had years of experience versus somebody who is just starting out and just graduated the academy. That's pretty much what these things are to me. Like, these are Genin. Like, maybe that little thing that I just, those things right there, like, those things could maybe be tuning. Maybe. Maybe be tuning. But it's like, why would you send the. Like, yeah, there's strength in numbers, but. When it comes down to it, it's quality over quantity. <laughs> it's definitely quality over quantity. Because, just like with uh, Dragon Ball Z, like, would you send, let me see, would you send Yamcha to go and destroy Vegeta? Like, <laughs> would you? Well, it's a good thing we're on the job then. So, the worlds aren't at peace after all? No, they're not, Sora. No, they're not. I mean, think about it. Like, would you want to send Yamcha to go and take down Vegeta? Like, think about it. In person. And he's a Saiyan at that. You know, and then you got Yamcha, who's a human who just knows a little bit about Ki. Or Kai. Or whatever people may say. I mean, you got to actually just think this stuff through. <laughs> I mean, think about it. You really got to think this stuff through. And I mean, that was probably a, a, a mixed match because Vegeta is, you know, kind of bad. But I'm talking about in a sense where, like, why would you send somebody much strong? That's what I'm talking about, basically. And it just doesn't make any sense that people would actually do that. But you know, this isn't my story. Look at that brother just chilling there. Just chilling there. Just chilling, man. <laughs> chilling in his chair like, man, ain't nobody finna touch me. So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, 
it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... the key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open the door to light. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. Yeah, well... Eh, I'm not going to. Yeah. Sorry about that, Game Sid. Just gonna grab your map here, and then, um... Uh, Go ahead and give me saving spot right there. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Come on. There we go. Alrighty, buddy. Let's uh I'm gonna talk to Okay, there we go. But wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer. But while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. <laughs> if one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. <laughs> the heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence, for you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. 
Now then, the being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of dusts. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13. While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. What now can he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the Realm of Darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. <laughs> Those look a bit too small for you. Mm-hmm. Through there, small. you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Of course, Sora. You sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, one thing I do want to say is I do apologize for these videos being somewhat kind of long. Um, the reason being is mainly because of you know the cutscenes that's going on. I mean, you know, of course, during the beginning of a game, you're going to get a whole bunch of cutscenes, and then it'll finally kind of like smooth itself out once you you know continuously play and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's still going to be some very long videos for right now, but as the game progresses, the cutscenes and stuff are going to get shorter and shorter and, you know, kind of smooth itself out where it's not all the time. So I do apologize, but um, since this is a Let's Play series, um, I'm doing a, well, pretty much a walkthrough of the game. Um, so that's why everything is going the way it is. You guys, Riku and the King, I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, just bear with me, everyone. Just bear with me. Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. No, oh, that will never do. Oh, now, now, dears. But don't you like this better? Hold on. Are you certain? <laughs> Blue. It's like, bruh. Ah, <laughs> uh, would you just decide? Oh, oh. well, oh. 
<laughs> All right, then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh, my. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yes. He does look very dashy. <laughs> now, those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. That's the draw for him. Super Saiyan! Whoa. Oh look, it's Three. Mickey's old Keyblade. Two Keyblades? This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. The <sighs> garments also have other powers. But you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you that Master Yen said. Oh, boy! Yay! Yay! We got Mickey's old Keyblade. Yay! We got Valor Form. So you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. But that means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the gummy ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But be warned. As you proceed, the heartless and the nobodies will be using their own paths. Corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How that's that for? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Lenson! We sure do appreciate the help. Well, they salute not wrong. <laughs> bye, Yensid. I don't know where you're going, but bye. My goodness, what's that? Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, <gasps> Malefa! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. 
She was a mean old witch. Oh no, the memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? We must do. Hurry. Maleficent! She just had to say the name? Did she literally, literally have to say the name? Yes, it is a world that you know, maybe. I really just don't care. Oh, man. Whew, look at the time. As soon as we land, we're going to save it. Oh, man. Too many cutscenes. Way too many cutscenes. My goodness. Maleficent! Maleficent! Maybe they really did finish her off. Ooh, this castle sure ain't what I expected. No shine, no nothing. Oh, now what's gonna happen to our plan? Nice town. Sure would hate if something uh, happened to it. But with that being said, I'm getting kind of hungry now. Hmm. It's Hollow Bastion. Yes, Gosh, it is. She looks kind of different now. Ah, okay. Uh-oh, looks like we're gonna have to do some fighting. We're gonna have to do some fighting. Okay, finally. Uh, let's see. There's no save, so... Yes. What? Okay. Uh, ooh. Yes, I'll buy this. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you sell? wonder if there's something to that. Okay. Oh, 
Ion's defense mechanism. Yuffie. Yuffie. Look out! Cause you were nobody. Yeah, <laughs> defeat the nobody. Let's try out this Valor Four, which also ranks up because by how many hits you can land on somebody. Ooh, that just up. Hello. Oh, look who it is. Stop it. Oh, that's right. I don't have what you call it. <laughs> I had to remember. I don't have uh, what you call it. There you go, recovery. Hey, you guys! I see you're still in top form. What'd you expect? Looks like you're doing okay. Well, what did you expect? I want the others. Great! Hey, Yuffie. Have you seen the king and Riku? Nope. But I had a feeling I'd see you guys again. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. Is that supposed to be Leon? <laughs> Everybody's working on stuff over at Merlin's house. Come on! Well, what if I don't want to come on? Maybe I want to sit here. Oh, there we go, a map. Because a map is what I need. Yep. Okay, I was just fighting nobody. How am I fighting Hartman now? <sighs> Meet the Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee. We missed you. Well, if you ain't in top shape, I knew it. Knew what? A while back, everyone suddenly remembered you guys, all at the same time. You remembered? Wait, does that mean you forgot about us? Wow! So where have you guys been all this time? We were sleeping. Where? In cold storage? Actually, yes. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is great. Everyone's together again. So, um, we're trying to find Riku and the King. Have you seen him? Right. Sorry, but let us know if there's anything we can do to help, okay? Okay. I don't even know how to say her Thanks. name. It's A E R I T H. Like, what is it? Aerith? Hollow Bastion's got a problem. A big problem. You mean, like, nobodies? And heartless? That's right. Sounds like you could use our help. Then let's cut to the chase. Sora, Donald, Goofy, we were hoping the three of you might give us a hand around here. Like we're gonna say no? Hmm. I forgot who I'm dealing with. How? What do you mean by that? Just think of it as a sort of... Leon compliment. Follow me to the Bailey. There's something you need to see. Oh, I thought it was you. Right on time. It's Bailey! Sora and the gang said they're gonna help out. Splendid! We'll count on you. Right! Right! right. Ah, yes. Uh, did you give them the cards, dear? Oh. Here. They're presents for you. Leon thought you might like to have them. Oh. 
Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee honorary member. That was your dad. Kinda cool, huh? Hey, thanks, Leah. Huh? Oh, no! We're supposed to be at the Bailey! <laughs> you think? Blizzard. Yes, I got magic. Okay, now, so. After a long and beautiful day of cutscenes, cutscening, and more cutscenes, I would like to say thank you all for watching. Smash, click, double click, triple click, and quadruple click that like button. Literally, because I know some people would actually do it, but. Just please hit the like button. This is a, an extremely long video, but it's okay. I'm just going to say thanks and goodbye.